Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. So, in our two year anniversary episode, which went up on Friday of last yep. week, if you haven't already seen it, please go check it out. We used an old hairdryer and I did a Dutch pour. Yep. And as we sat watching them, we thought to ourselves, I wonder what a Dutch pour would look like two years on. So, <laughs> That's what we've done. We've challenged ourselves to do a couple of Dutch balls again. Yes. So um, I'm going to pick my own colours. I'm going to pick my own colours. Yeah. So we're going to have two completely different compositions, two different outcomes, but our canvases are the same size. That's about it. So um, we'll tell you through our paint recipe and all some kind of tips and tricks at the table. Yes. But without much further ado, let's just get to it. Let's get to it. We'll see you there. Well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs> As you've heard in our little intro, mm -hmm. we just celebrated our two-year anniversary. Sure did. We went back and critiqued that episode and had a bit of fun doing it. Yep. One of the things that I did in that episode was a Dutch pour. Yeah. And it's fair to say we've come a long way in our pouring journey as a whole. Definitely a long way in our Dutch pours. Yeah. But I feel like we've still got a long way to learn. So, um... Practice, practice, practice. That's exactly what we're going to do. We've got some dirty double Dutch pours for you here today. Yes. We have got different colours though. So uh -huh. these are two different, complete different compositions. Let me tell you what I've got first. So I've gone for a very like dark and moody palette today. Um, and it was actually inspired by Canal Siraco, the queen of the Dutch pours. I've got Ultramarine by Amsterdam. I've got Umber. This is Raw Umber by Amsterdam. Oh. I've got Payne's Grey by Amsterdam. I've got Skylight Blue by Amsterdam. This is an Amsterdam fest. It is. This is Copper by Amsterdam. Mm. And then I've got two Deco Arts. I've got 24 Karat Gold and I've got Pewter. Um, all of these you can get by following our Deco Art link in our description box. And then the Amsterdam links, you can follow the link in there too. Yeah. All at no extra cost to yourself. Um, so that's my colours that are going to go on top of the pour, and my base is phalo blue. Wow. So I've got a very blue themed, then with some really funky colours. So this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Uh -huh. Show Pony has backed it, he's pinned it, and he's sprayed it. It's super tight, which I really need with the Dutch pour because we want those colours to, to not be sliding all over this canvas. Exactly. And it is level. I have leveled it. Despite it sounding like it's not, it is actually leveled. All right, um, I'm gonna get my base coat on the canvas, show pony. Okay. And as I do that, I'm just gonna tell everyone what both of our pouring recipe is okay. for this one. Sure. Because we've got the same. Um, and it's taken from the lovely Canela Siraco's paint mixing recipe episode. And it's the kind of, it's the same recipe that we've actually used for our Dutch pours from day one. And we also use this recipe for swipes also. So this is a 50% flow troll. It's a 25% paint and then a 25% water mix. And as you can see, it is runny, very runny in fact. And this is going to just run all the way down this canvas. Um, it's like, what do you call it? You call it, it's vitamin D milk, is that right? <laughs> yes. I don't know why vitamin it's called D milk. vitamin D milk. Because vitamin D milk is heavier. Has it got vitamins, vitamins mixed into it? Um, is that why it's called vitamin D milk? No, they just didn't take out, it's not low fat, so they didn't take anything out of it. It's pure milk. So hang on a second, and I think we've had this conversation before. Is there a difference between vitamin D milk and whole milk? Because I thought whole milk was Whole milk is vitamin D milk. It's the same thing. Yes. It's just called different things. Yes. Well, thank you, America, for not making it confusing for everyone else. I think it is, unless vitamin D milk is. I might be wrong. I mean, to me, it makes sense that vitamin, vitamin even, D milk has vitamin D added. That would, yeah, that would make sense to me. Maybe that is. I'll have to look that up. Let's do that. Maybe somebody can let us know on that. I'm sure they will <laughs> in the comment section. <laughs> so that is my pour onto this canvas. Now you'll see all of the blue that's sitting behind it. Every single drop of that 
will be collected. It will put, be put in our slot buckets. We'll, we keep a separate bucket that's for that kind of thinner consistencies and that's exactly what we'll do with this one. Mm. So um, we can't use this in our normal pours because it's way too thin, but we can use this absolutely in anything that's nice and runny, like a swipe for example. Okay, all right, I'm liking that. The, one of the things that I've learned about Dutch pours as we've gone along is that there is definitely a a ratio between the amount of paint you want on your canvas and the amount of paint to tilt off the canvas. All right, so now to layering. Hmm, first of all, I've got to think about how I'm going to get these paints on here. Yeah. Have you thought about your composition already, Chopin? Oh yeah, I already have. Oh yes, he already has. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Oh, I'm really surprised. Uh, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Mm, what are you going to do? Tell me what you're doing and I won't do the same. Tell me. Oh, what you doing. mean like what I'm doing? Yeah, how are you going to lay your paints? I was just honestly going to go like a little bit this way, not all the way, and then a full like that away. That was no help at all, but thank you. Okay, I'm only going to go like halfway here. Okay, a little wispy. And then a long way there. Got it. So you're going to go all the way and then just a little off. Kind a of, yes. A little branch. Yes. Okay, I see that. All right, well, I'm going to do something different then. Let me see what I can do. Now, all of our colors here are in paper cups so that you can kind of create a little spout. These are left over from Kathleen Osmore. They are. Fluid Art, July 22. Um, all right, let's do this. wonderful people that is it I've layered my colors now to blow this out so anyone who watched our two-year anniversary episode and listen to the commentary Jeremy was like oh I really missed that hairdryer and I was like it's in the garage and here she is <laughs> um, two years on this Remington is still with us and the nozzle is still taped to the top it's good yeah. to see all right let's nice to know three speeds and we've got some cool settings and some extra cool settings. All right, let's blow this bad boy out. Do it. Hmm. So, too much paint, too much base coat, crappy blowout. There was something wrong with that hairdryer. It kind of, it felt like the air was coming out of the nozzles on this side and it wasn't coming out the middle. So I am going to blame my tools. It has nothing to do with me <laughs> at all. You know, I just wish there was a way in which we could actually have some one-on-one -on -one time with Canela Soraco. Well, maybe we can. One day, one day. All right, so what I did was I scraped my painting and I scraped everything that was off my mat and I reapplied it on top of my canvas. So this is the phalo blue again, yep. and I still got plenty of colors here. So we're going to do this again. This time I got Pinky, my trusty little one, which yes. is the, the hairdryer that I love. But I am gonna layer this in the same way because I actually did really like, despite it looking a mess, I actually really liked the way that the colors were on the canvas. So I did not enjoy the amount of paint that there was on this blowout, but I absolutely liked the colors. So I'm gonna use exactly the same colors again. Maybe not quite so heavily this time with all of them. Mm. You know, Canela uses those little lolly veffy, just, you know, squeezy bottles, which really do help kind of just you know, help you with the amount of paint that you're putting down on this canvas. Maybe that's part of the, of the problem. The, the trick of the trade? Yeah.
right so there's all my colors again i do still have some more of the base coat which i can use to help me get my edges if i need it or anything else that needs to be touched up i'm just going to get this bit here before i blow it out and then let's get these little damps of color off here too All right, show pony, pass me pinky. Let's have a go at this again. Yeah, I love this. I'm definitely happier. Definitely not quite as much of the base coat on. I like how we've got the cells through the pewter and the white and the browns and the blues all that interacting here. You can see the shine of the tripod on this canvas, but I'm hoping that you can really see all those colors come through as well. Um, I'm happy. I'm not gonna futz with this one because I just like the way that it's blown out. So I'm gonna keep this one exactly as it is, but I will get my edges and then I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Thank you guys. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I am so excited and Lee, you have blue paint all down the side of your face. I Good. Just I want it there. It was intentional. <laughs> so, as you know, we're doing Dutch pours today, which I'm really excited about. So you know, we're covering ourselves in blue paint today, which <laughs> I'm not excited about. I know, we got paint all over right. the place. Um, but my, these are my colors. So. I have this uh, Jenkins green here. Mm -hmm. I have the white the uh, from Amsterdam. Titanium. Titanium white. Now this is fire opal. I haven't used this in a while and it is so pretty. Lovely color. Um, I love it. Now this was a custom color. Okay. I actually took fire opal and doxazine purple and I made this plum color. Love it. And it's stunning. I can't wait to show you guys whenever I pour it onto the canvas. Um, and then we have the Nico Azo gold. Okay right by goldens and then this was also a custom color okay this was the burnt umber and gold that oh, you mix that together yes. yeah so this is a really pretty little brownish color brownish gold so um, um my base coat color which is scandalous <laughs> lisa cory is is 24 karat deco arts metallic schools. Mm -hmm. All right, show pony. So the first okay. thing's first is to flood your canvas, I guess. Yes. Do you need the spatula? Um, I do need the spat. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna pour it like you like okay. you do yours. Awesome. Um, so yes. All right, guys, I got my base coat down. Super excited. Stunning. Now I'm ready to put my colors on my canvas. Do it.
Okay. Yeah. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. I'm happy. I got pinky. I am ready to blow this out and Let's see what happens. Do it, sewer. I love this. I love that fire opal that's all through here. I love that plum that you see popping out through here, here and there. Um, those greens, you can see the popping. I really, really like this piece a lot. Like I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. So it's it's kind of fair to say that two years on, I don't think we've got any better. <laughs> yeah, we I really thought they were nice. Some help. Um, yeah, I'm going to seek some help. Some help is needed. Dutch pours are not easy no, to not. do. Everyone sees Dutch pours and thinks that you're just throwing some paint on the canvas and blowing and it out, blow with out with hair dryer. Oh my God, composition, uh -uh. paint recipe, how you use the hair dryer, all have an impact. Yes. What did you think about yours first? Mine, I actually liked mine. I thought it was really pretty. Um, what, I, what I didn't think of was that, that 24 karat gold by Deco Arts sells mm -hmm. so i think it's just going to sell up my all my composition i think as so, it dries it's going to look like little thin lines of paint yes, i think so i should have used like you know the aztec gold or the brilliant gold or whatever it's called from precious, arteza precious. precious gold yeah. yeah one of those might not have had quite yeah. such of a selling effect yeah i think so, so. Uh, but i was interested to see what happened as you picked up that 24 karat gold um i didn't like mine at all Cool. I liked it and I didn't like it. I liked it when I first blew it out because it was far better than the mess that I blew out the first time, <laughs> which you will have seen and then quickly moved on to the second. Um, but I looked at it again and I'm like, I just don't love it. Yeah. So we desperately need some help. I wonder who we can enlist to help us. Hmm, could initials be Casey? Yeah, I have some <laughs> ideas, I have some ideas. All right, people, so um, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Yes. We appreciate you being here very much. We've just got over a million views on our channel and two years with of episodes deep. So there's a lot of historical content for you there just to go and check it out, so please go have a look. Yes. And uh, we really, really enjoy painting. Yes, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I did just say that. You did yes. just say that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Just in case you didn't hear it the first two times. Um, this guy needs to eat. I do. Chirponi is hangry. I do. And needs some food in and his I'm, little And I'm hot. And he's sweating because he's just been in the studio. Yes. So let me go get some food down this guy's neck. Um, please come back and watch us on Tuesday 
there probably will be a Friday and desperately a Sunday because we've got some stuff to tell you. Yes. So Sunday, Sunday, Sunday is going to be a really fun day. There will be probably nine plus premieres on that day. Oh, geez, yeah. I wonder why. Anyway, we'll tell you more about it through the week. Go and have a great weekend. Thank you for being here. Thank you for indulging us in a couple of Dutch pours. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. Bye, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> So what's a Patreon? What is a Patreon? I'll let me tell you. So the Patreons are a very special group of people. They are. They are here with us chatting all the time in the lives. You'll see them and you'll know these names as we run through them. But they wanted to have a little bit of an extra support, a little bit of an extra look at what goes on behind the scenes. So our Patreon account, completely separate, and at certain different levels, you get different perks. Yes. So at the bronze and silver levels, for example, you might get sneak peek pictures and sneak peek videos, yeah. things that happen behind the scenes in the studio. Yeah. At the gold level, you get that. Plus, you also get a live stream once a month. Yes. Access to a WhatsApp group where we all sit and chat and yeah. kind of just- So much fun. Talk about pieces and yeah. exchange motivations and color theory and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. And then at the platinum level, you get all of that. And then you also get a live tutorial, tutorial. once a yep. month. So lots and lots of really fun stuff that isn't necessarily what you get to see on the YouTube account, um, but it is something a little separate. Yes. So we have some special thank yous to do. Yeah. For our gold pourers, we have Crafty Chicken Mom. Amy. You've got Elizabeth Gilano. Yeah. Gillian Kennedy. You've got Gloria Salaki. Yeah. You got Jane Klein, uh -huh. Kelly Stowell, yep. or Feral Arts. <laughs> You've got Kirsten Blackley. You've got Linda Seriani. Yep. We've got Mary Doulas, or Mama Doulas. Mama Doulas. We've got Patsy Petrelli, yep. Pocket Rocket. We've got Nate Bright, who you all know and love, has got his own channel. Mm -hmm. You've got Sharon Luffy. Stephanie Hancock. Stephanie Hancock. With those hugs. We've got Tammy Hasbrook. We have Terry Leshner, and we have Trisha West. Yes. And? And in the platinum level, we have the awesome Elaine Burton. Super awesome. Yes. We have Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve mm -hmm. Pittman. We have Susan Chigori. Oh my gosh, she's bought so many pieces from <laughs> I know, I know. Her walls are covered in art. I know. And we have Susan Shepperson. Oh my goodness, you all know Susan. Susan Shepperson, she's at every single premiere. Yeah. So thank you, Susan. We see you all know that. Yes. And to all of you guys and everyone else that you'll see here down below, we really, really, really do appreciate you. It is with your support that we keep our stocks of canvases and paint coming. Yeah. And it really does mean that we can just continue throwing up content for you all all. I know. So thank you so very much guys. You guys truly are the best. It helps us so much. It really does. Thank you guys.